welcome to my video. So I decided I'm going to read the rest of my journals um, entries from when I was in the Center for Change Eating Disorder Treatment when I was 16 and then I'm going to read, uh, there's a few entries from when I was home after that and then I started journaling when I went to Avalon Hales Treatment Center um, when I was 17 so um, I didn't journal very much there so I'll finish that one. Okay, so here we go. So, this is November 3rd, 2004. Yesterday I purged into the shower drain and they found it. I admitted to doing it, so now I'm on LOS. Don't know what that is. For 48 hours. And Jessica had to move out and um, Kirsty in my room from Claudia's room. I asked Espra, she's my therapist, if I could room with Lorena, but they wouldn't let me. It made me emotional, and then when I tried to talk to Christy, she blew me off, and I could tell she was mad at me. Okay, this is a new day, I think. A new admin came today. I, I'm feeling like I don't want recovery right now. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Right here it says the next day, so I guess that was... Uh, this is... Maybe that was part of the, re the other day, and now this is a new day. Okay. A new admin, the new admin is like 60 pounds. She had to get the tube her first day. She says sorry for everything and cries all day. Kirsty left my room, so I'm alone now. Last night, Lindy came to visit our side because she's on level four now. I found out she's 18 and she has been to Ramuda Ranch also, three years ago. Whenever I meet someone new, why do I always feel so self-conscious? I feel like they don't like me and I and don't really know who I am subconsciously. I'm on LOS in the bathroom again because of purge found in the drain in the bathroom. This is a new day, I believe. Last night during goals, I said what I, sh what should I make as my goal and Allison and Ella said you should just do everything the staff says and not ask questions and not call the staff names. <laughs> I don't remember calling them names. <laughs> so I'm very nice. It hurt my feelings because I felt they were saying I was a bad person. I felt if they really cared, they wouldn't say something about me doing those things. When I do those things is when I need understanding and nurture. Later that night, I got in trouble for clicking my marker and then again for coloring a little heart on my hand. Anyways, later that night, I was sitting solemn on the floor when Becky, a nurse, I put in parentheses, came and talked to me. I told her how I felt that I couldn't do anything right and I don't feel like I want to get better and that I just take everything personally. I told her about how Allison this morning didn't go so well and Ella, how Ella made me feel. She said she could relate to taking things that way and when she was more insecure, she was more that way. That it's hard when you already hate yourself. She told me I'm doing stuff right and I wouldn't still be here if I couldn't. That in staffing the CT and them just said how they were proud of me or something. This morning didn't go so well. I was still trying to recover from the night before and was very vulnerable. We voted on movies and I wanted to get New York Minute. That's a Mary Kate Nashley movie. I love them. Where was I? But people were arguing and it made me feel bad that I did that and made them mad at me. So I didn't talk and cried scrunched up. It hurt my feelings when Danny said, she's just pouting. What? I don't have feelings? I'm about, I'm not just trying to pout. I feel hurt inside. I got out of it after people telling me they're not mad and they still love me. I told Christy, my dietitian, about it and how I thought it was so stupid and I felt so stupid for being hurt and making a deal about it and then she said she thought it was interesting. I thought it was stupid I felt that way because she'd be, um, because she'd be hurt too if that happened to her. Oh, she must have said that. That made me think. I'm thinking this is a new day. Didn't really write the date, or, but there's a space. Also, I say that the word that starts with, the swear word that starts with an S, four letters, um, I say it several times in here, so I'm gonna exchange that for crap. So, um, my weight dropped again. It's so weird. Whenever I take more challenges, challenges are like when you take. Um, you can choose to take like an extra dessert or like uh, a dessert or a cake or something. Um, so it challenges you because you are taking one. So 
Um, whenever I take more challenges, I lose weight, and when I don't, I gain some. She says that's because probably when I don't, my body goes into starvation mode and holds on to everything and stores it as fat. Um, I'm thinking this is a new day. Today and yesterday have been quite down in the dumps for me. I've been pretty depressed. Plus, they have my lit have my bin for three days already. But tonight we did karaoke. It was a lot of fun. Fun. I wasn't going to sing at first, but then I agreed to sing A Castle on a Cloud with Lindsay. It wasn't as scary as I thought, and it reminded me of how much I love performing. At the end, we all sang Can't Touch the Moonlight, and I danced around with Allison. I realized I have more confidence and ability inside me than I, that I doubted myself about. This is 11-23, year 2004. I just got to go on my first pass with my blank and Shantae and Janique. I had fun. I got such cute stuff, but I didn't eat anything, and I feel like crap right now. Um, this is December 6, 2004. Sorry I haven't written for a while. A lot has happened, and I've been really tired. Yesterday was Sunday. I went on pass and didn't eat because I felt really sick. I didn't eat on Saturday pass either. My blank was the food police the whole time too. I am realizing every time I start doing good, doing things well, I end up sabotaging myself subconsciously. Christy told me how well I've been doing. I thought I did bad in parentheses. So I just went and threw up in my drawer. I'm hopeless. That's so much a point. Christy left the other day, sad face. I'm thinking this is a new day. Today would be what you would call not a good day. I have been feeling sick since Sunday. Well, at lunch we had a baked potato with a crap, I actually said crap this time, <laughs> crap load of cheese sauce and sour cream on it. I then took a challenge, which I haven't done in a long while. I felt incredibly guilty. New day. I got kicked out of a center, out of the center for not stopping purging. I was having a hard weekend and purged. They found it, so my all or nothing thinking kicked in. So I kept purging and stopped eating. I found out the next day that I was going home at three o'clock. I was waiting for her to call that morning so she could tell me what was going to happen to me. I got the call a little after breakfast and I bawled the rest of the day. I cried in Lorena's arms and I told her how I really didn't want to go and I also didn't want to leave here, so we promised to keep in touch. The residential side came over and did this goodbye thing where we played a song they chose Dear Friend and I lay on top of all their hands. They cradled me and then lifted me into the air. I couldn't help from bawling and then everyone else did too. I looked into Heather's wet eyes. She told me after the song how scared she was for me that this eating disorder isn't glamorous. It will kill me. I looked up into Brianna's wet, tear-streaked eyes and cheeks, my soul sister, all the time she helped me when I was having a hard time, all our late night talks and laughing till we were so tired. Trisha's wet eyes, the sweetest girl you'd ever meet, you'll ever meet, always thinking of others. Lindsay's wet eyes, she's, she's such a cutie, and Allison, she was even crying, my dear, dear Allison, the one I shared all my secrets with and hers with me, are talks about why do we have this stupid eating disorder, why can't we just be normal? It hurt so bad to leave. My heart was broken. I looked up at my sister, my dear Danny, her soaked eyes. She told me later one reason she was crying so much that day was because when she looked at me that day, she saw all the hell eating disorder causes, the pure hell and torture, and I was being sucked back into that. I got to say goodbye one more time after that. I kept hugging them over and over, not wanting to let go when it was time to leave for good. I took one look back at the impatience, not being able to hold the tears, and waved one last goodbye. Oh, that was sad. <laughs> okay. I've been out for a month now. I've started a new private school, Kimber Academy. My first few days out, I just cried. Cried because the hurt, the emptiness inside. Why did I have to go and mess everything up? Why? I, um, last week I was hospitalized. I was dropping too much weight. My electrolytes were way out of balance and my potassium dropped to a dangerous low of 2.6 from all the purging. They said I could have a heart attack and die at any time. 
I was in the hospital for four days where they pumped potassium into me. They stuck an NG tube down my throat that fed me 24-7. They sure fattened me up. And I wore a heart rate monitor that monitored my heart at all times. How did I get myself into such a mess? They didn't want to send me home again, but ultimately that's what happened. We had no money to send me to another treatment center. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna not do that part. Um, this part I, I'm not gonna read when I was home. Okay, okay. I have been out of the Center for Change for six months now. Ashley was there when I came and for a while we were on inpatient together. She got frustrated with me, I remember, and told me to eat. She told me that she was worried about me and that I hadn't eaten and had been there for like five days. She would wear shorts and skirts, but along with that, huge sweatshirts to cover up with. She was a very nice girl. I saw this quietness in her. She went through the program, but didn't really want to get better. I don't know. She faked her way through it. I guess you might say, partly. It's very sad, the pain I could see in her eyes. She was only 22 years old. Ashley Brooks died on Friday. She didn't get better. Her kidneys failed. Anorexia and bulimia, starvation killed her. I can't believe she's gone. I saw a lot in her that I saw in Paris. She reminded me of her. Paris was a good friend I had at Ramona Ranch. Her and Brandy were always lying on the ground with the pillows under their stomachs. I'm grateful they taught me that. It helped a lot to soothe an aching stomach, which was a very frequent event for all of us. Okay, now um, I'm going to go to Avalon Hills. September 6, 2005. I got to Avalon Hills on Friday. When I came in, they said my potassium was low again. So along with eating, I had to drink a bottle of Ensure and extra strawberries. Um, okay, this is the next day. Today it is now September 7th, Tuesday. I now have meals and snacks. I haven't had a BM for like two weeks. They gave me prune juice yesterday, but I can't go when someone is standing next to me. I haven't even purged here, but they keep giving me more rules. They're judging me by my past treatment centers, and that is really crap. I have to count now when I go to the bathroom also and when I shower with the curtain open. How can you go poo while counting? The nurse said they would give me a thing where they stick a tube up my bowels if I haven't gone by yesterday. I can't sleep at night but they won't let me take a nap during the day. I want to go home. The nurse keeps telling me I'm dehydrated but I pee so much. She said it's going through me. I miss Puff. That's my new, um, that's my dog. I still have him now but um, he was just a puppy um, when I went there. I just got him. I don't want to be here. They have a cute kitten here named Waddle. This place is really weird to me. A lot of the rules don't make any sense to me. I just think I'll go through the program. That's what I'm just doing. I want to go home. I wish I could take a nap. The other girls that are here now, Holly 14, Kelsey 16, Ariel 15, Lauren 15, Emily knew yesterday is 16. I'm the oldest one here. I was 17 and then I turned 18 there. Oh, and Jessica's 16, almost 17. It's really dumb here. I want to leave. I am on weight gain. The dietitian said I would be on it for, I don't know, a while. Um, I only talked with my therapist once. She's gone all this week. September 8th, 2005. Today I have been constipated for over two weeks. This morning they gave me white chalky laxative crap with warm prune juice. All I did was give me all it did was give me a huge stomach ache, pain, exclamation point. So they gave so they later gave me up, it up my butt, which didn't help. It's crap. They gave me an enema along with Emily who got it earlier. She got to go potty by herself for like ever, but I wasn't allowed to because of my past exclamation points. I've been here for five days longer than her and I haven't done anything. I haven't purged or restricted. I've ate all the crap they gave me. Yesterday at lunch, there was a stupid piece of flubber that I tried to chew for like five minutes, but they made me eat it. I put it in my mouth and spit it out later. I freaking felt pregnant, but worse all day. I want to go home. I miss Puff. Today he's seven months, eight days old. September 9th, 2005. I've been here a week today. It seems like 
it was really long. The food here is really weird. It seems like most of the time we're doing chores, feeding and watering the animals, or sitting and eat, or eating. My stomach always hurts one way or another, and the girls seem to talk about really superficial stuff a lot. When I came in, they told me this place was about compromise. That's not true. They haven't compromised with me on anything. They don't care if I'm in pain. They just ignore me. I really don't like this place. One girl is really nice. Her name is Jessica. She gets to leave in five days. Seriously, what is with the food here? It, if it's not extremely weird, then it's totally plain. I mean, who eats a plain bagel and a plain potato? They won't even let you put salt and pepper on your food or ketchup. I miss Puff. I want to go home now so I can take care of him. September 11th, 2005. Kylie, the case manager, looked up my name and Brie means strong one. Today was my second Sunday here. I had to vacuum the living room and library, clean the rock bathroom, empty the trashes downstairs, and take them out to the dumpster. Yesterday we went to Walmart and played a game that we had teams and went and got 20 items and then had to put the other person's back as fast as possible. September 12th, 2005. Yesterday I applied for level two with peers and got voted up. On Wednesday I applied with staff. Then I can finally go to the bathroom. It is really weird here. I want to go home. I need to take care of Puff. It's also freezing cold here. All they're doing is making me fat and also do chores. Everything just feels so surreal right now. I am on level two now. I can finally go poop. Tonight we are going on another... Then I didn't finish what I was going to say. September something. I didn't write the date. The date. 2005. Today is Tuesday. I have now been here 18 days, 2 weeks, and 4 days. I'm not exactly sure... Oh, maybe 18 days is two, four, 12, 14, 16. Oh, yeah. 18 days or two weeks and four days. Puff is supposed to come today at around 5.30. Horses are today from 1 to 3.30, but I still can't ride. Connie the nurse said I'm orthostatic, which means my heart is working really hard to keep me going, apparently. I got a bone density scan. They said my bones are 7% lower than they are supposed to be, which is apparently puts me at a slight risk of a fracture or osteoporosis, whatever. <laughs> okay. On Friday we went to Chili's. I remember this day, to my memory. That was the day my calories got increased even more, so I had three starches at dinner. They made me eat a ton of the pasta and bread, and then we had to also get a dessert. Like, I don't know if you've had like one of those chocolate cake desserts um, at Chili's, like with the ice cream, like the lava one, like, they made us individually eat a whole one. Yeah, um, so it was kind of big. Um, and then we had to also get dessert, which was humongous, like bigger than the dinner, way too much to handle. I like was going to pop. So was Emily. She had the same dessert also. I think they changed after that that you only had to like eat um, half a dessert like there because there, that was a lot. I couldn't handle it, so I purged in the bathroom at the football game. Not everything, just the dessert. I also refused snack because I still felt sick from way too much. September 20th. Anyway, I talked to my therapist later. Oh, I don't know why it says that. Anyway, I talked to my therapist later, and she said Puff couldn't come on Sunday, that he would have to wait to come on Tuesday, yesterday, if I ate till then. Well, I ate till then and did everything I was supposed to, and then Ari told me Jen said he couldn't come. In group the last couple days, they have been getting mad at me because I don't talk, and the day before yesterday got mad because I talked to Emily. Emily said that her and Ariel saw that no one was really trying to get to know me and they thought I was a cool person. She said it's hard to open up to people who always are getting mad at me. Seriously, I mean, it took me a while to open up to Emily and Ariel a little. I was feeling like crap that day in group when they were getting mad at me. I was beating myself up for everything they were saying, so I started to cry. I couldn't hold it in and they started laughing. Emily is the one who's tried to comfort me and, and be understanding, but I felt incredibly guilty for that too because they acted even more mad about that, so I didn't accept any comfort and I couldn't talk to them. So I stopped talking to Emily and them. I felt like crap for not talking to her. I saw her crying that night and it made me cry even more to see her in pain. I was strongly thinking of running away last night. 
I've been on bath bathroom monitoring since Friday, so I haven't been able to go since Thursday. I have also had to sleep in the living room on the floor with cushions the last three or four days. That is the end. I stopped. Um, I didn't journal um, after that at my treatment centers. So I have other journals. I don't know if I will read. The one I want to find is the one when I was psychotic and um, when I had my schizophrenia in the hospital because I like wrote every, about everything I thought was real. I, was, I wrote it down too, so I really wish I could find that because I want to read that one. Um, but I don't know if I'll read some other journals that I have. Um, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed me reading the rest of that. And thank you all so much for watching and supporting me and subscribing. And please, it makes me really happy if you like my video, if you think this deserves it. And, um, okay, love you all. God bless.